afternoon. My name is Thomas Lowe and I'm a landscape designer in Atlanta, Georgia. Today I will be giving you some ideas on how to hide your HVAC or air conditioner unit. Um, a couple ways uh, to do this is the, one of the first ways many homeowners will do is they'll use uh, wooden lattice or wooden uh, fencing to hide their AC unit. And then also I'll talk about uh, different types of uh, plant material shrubs um, to hide your air conditioner system and, and, and the differences between the two. Um, if you want to go the approach of using lattice uh, or wooden fencing, you can buy pre-made uh, eight foot or four foot sections of fencing at your, at your hardware centers or lumber centers. Now, uh, and then of course you can cut them to fit custom or you can actually custom make them yourself. If you custom make uh, something, the wooden fences to hide the air conditioner units, you'd first of all need to start out with these four by four uh, posts. And in this design, uh, we've actually put a four by four post here, another one in this corner, and another one in that corner, and left this open for access to the unit. Uh, also gone back with the two by four, and put on the front of the 4x4 post as shown um, right there at the very top of the 4x4 post. And also at the very bottom, you may not be able to see it, but there's another one on the bottom just like the top. Uh, that actually will give a brace or make up for a brace that you can go back and put your custom planks or your pre-made fencing on. Now, if you're going to custom make this, um, and even with the prefab, you would need to, to dig a hole with a, a post hole digger or a soil auger a little bit bigger. Um, I would actually go about a foot across and then put this four by four post, I would say at least a foot to two feet in the ground and pour concrete in the hole. And also make sure that these four by four, four posts line up properly uh, when you do that so that the, the fence is straight when you go back in and put the fence on. And after you pour the concrete around the post, you may want the concrete to set up for a couple days uh, so that it cures enough that you can go back and put these panels on. Sometimes people will actually go in and lay the fence panels on the ground and then go back with these four by four braces and put those on while it's on the ground. Then uh, uh, join these posts to the braces and then just put it all in at once so you don't have to wait to come back and put that on when the concrete cures. So that's one approach with the um, with the, the fencing. Uh, there's a material too called a lattice and that's uh, some fencing that you can see through sort of in a diamond pattern and uh, that allows a little ventilation in um, but this is adequate for enough space for ventilation for the air conditioner unit. Uh, another approach is uh, quite popular that you see people doing is uh, planting uh, shrubs around the air conditioner unit. Um, shrubs definitely soften up the area a lot better. You've got some nice flowers um, that can add some benefits to your landscape while hiding your unit at the same time. So one plant that I would recommend, uh, and this is not one, this is a ligustrum, but one plant is a nandina, nandina domestica is the genus species and that plant grows vertical. It grows only about two to three feet wide, grows up to about six feet tall. Those are great to go around air conditioner units because when you plant plants around air conditioner units, you never want these plants to grow into the into the unit. So number one thing is to choose the right size plant when you do plant foliage around the air conditioner unit. I also recommend before doing any uh, digging around units is to call uh, the Utilities Protection Center to mark any utility lines so that you don't cut any lines when you're digging. Um, so make sure that the plant you choose um, doesn't really grow into here. If you really love a plant, you know it's going to get too big, that's okay. You can plant it. Just know you're going to have to prune it a couple times a summer once it really gets mature so it doesn't really grow into this air conditioner unit. Uh, one good example uh, is shown here that you really do and don't want to do is here at the bottom, 
you always want to keep this concrete exposed and you never really want to pile a lot of mulch up around your unit because you know this all this material holds moisture and you're going to get a lot of rust and it, it can wear on the system over the years and, and cause it not to live its full life. So you really want to keep this mulch away uh, from the air conditioner unit and keep it with this concrete foundation uh, exposed. Uh, one other thought too that I forgot to mention was if you're planting some plants, some grasses or some landscape plants to go around the air conditioner units, one nice thing about this is that, and sometimes the fencing does it, but is, is a plant and sometimes the fencing will hide all of these other parts from the sun because the sun, when this gets wet and the sun hits it, it, it uh, speeds up the rusting and the decomposition a lot quicker. So uh, plants also really shield um, the air conditioner unit parts from uh, rusting as bad. So I hope these tips have been uh, some help for you and have a great day. My name is Thomas Lowe and I'm a landscape designer in Atlanta, Georgia. Thank you.